Okay, in this problem, um, we're going to look at a couple of examples of using the output uh, from one function as input um, to a second function. So we're given two functions in this problem, a function named f, represented by this formula, uh, and then also a function named g, represented by this formula. And in part a, we want to evaluate um, this expression, f of g of minus 5. So if we think about what this expression is asking us to evaluate, what we want to do is first uh, use minus 5 as input to the function g, and then calculate the output from the function g for that input minus 5. And then we're going to use that output from the function g as input to the function f. So we're going to be evaluating um, a couple of functions um, at inputs um, in this expression. So uh, first let's um, uh, first start here by evaluating g of minus 5. So we can evaluate g of minus 5, of course, by using the formula for g, uh, which is given to us. And so we know g of minus 5 is uh, going to be 2 uh, times uh, minus 5 uh, plus 3. Of course, we evaluate g of minus 5 just by substituting minus 5 for the input variable x uh, in the function uh, formula uh, for g. All right, so let's uh, simplify 2 times minus 5 plus 3. Uh, that's easy arithmetic, so that's going to be um, uh, minus 10 plus 3. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10, plus 3 is going to give us minus 7. And so this leaves us with evaluating f of minus 7. And now it's easy to evaluate f of minus 7. You're just going to substitute minus 7 for the input variable x in the formula for uh, f. So f of minus 7 would be uh, minus 7 squared, uh, minus 2 times uh, minus 7, and then plus uh, 2. So of course minus 7 squared is positive 49, minus 2 times a minus 7 is plus 14, and then we're also adding 2 here. So 49 plus 14 is 63, plus 2 uh, is going to be 65. So that's our final result. Uh, f of g of minus 5, um, that simplifies uh, to 65. All right, let's try um, uh, the same process, but uh, sort of backwards. So I want to evaluate g of f of 4. So first we're going to evaluate the function f at the input 4. That's what this expression is telling us to do. And then when we get that output f of 4, we're going to feed that as input uh, to the function g. So again, uh, we're using the output uh, from one function, in this case from the function f, as input to a second function, the second function being in this example uh, the function g. All right, so first let's calculate f of 4. And we do that, of course, by using the formula for f. So f of 4 is going to be uh, 4 squared. Uh, minus 2 times uh, 4, and then plus 2. So I'm just substituting 4 for uh, x in the formula for f. And now let's carry out that arithmetic. So uh, 4 squared is 16. And then, of course, minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 plus 2. And so when you combine these constants, you're going to get 16 minus 8 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So we're left here with evaluating g of 10. Uh, to finish completely evaluating uh, the original expression. Well, it's easy to evaluate g of 10, right? Uh, we're just going to substitute 10 for x uh, in the formula for g. So we have 2 times 10 uh, plus 3. And of course, 2 times 10 plus 3 is going to simplify to 23. So there's the final result. Uh, g of f of 4 uh, is equal to uh, uh, 23.